doing great too. So there's my girl. <laughs> Not only wet and dry food, but we got her organic kibble, and I mixed. I just mixed in um, uh, bone broth with it uh, tonight to see if she likes that better. And then we took the recommendation of the Reddit user, Reddit Reddit users here, and uh, mixed a little bit of water in with her um, with her wet food, and then made a better consistency. <clears throat> Look at those sausages. Mom. 
mom you're such a good mom we also uh oh they fixed it yeah. mama told me mama they're making that noise like when you're sitting on them again mama i love you but you're you're making that they're making that noise here there you go there you go there you go look at that you did it i got you mama Got you, Mama. Stay right here, okay? I'll be right back. Guys, um, so Epona Mom, one of the mods here, we actually named one of the kittens after her, um, made a great suggestion, and it's, because I said we should start a group chat or something, right? Because I'm messaging all, a bunch of people all the time about Francis and her updates and her kittens. Um, if, uh, if you want, we're, we're gonna start a Discord. Discord seems to be, popular here on reddit so we're gonna start discord just for uh updates on francis and her kittens uh and we'll just drop uh photos and videos of that all day um and uh and updates and all that stuff so that we're not just spamming <laughs> reddit here pet the kitty look i can touch her belly now mama Yes. I love you. Oh. Ooh. Look at these kittens up on tap. This is Donda. This is Donda. All the all gray one. Donda. Let's get you up here with mommy. This one over here though. I can't. I don't even wanna, I don't wanna bother this one. Please. <laughs> Love and life right now. Imagine being that size and laying on a thing that big. No, you're just having a great time. Having a great time. What? 
cuteness overload. I can't take it. <laughs> Mommy done great though. Legend. Kanye got people naming kittens at them. Legend. Slow blink, Mama, I love you. The bond that we've... I mean, guys, who's been here from the time that when she attacked me and, like, I got all messed up and stuff outside when she was outside still? If anybody doesn't know, she was a stray cat not too long ago. Oh, don't worry. She's still got instincts. She was a stray cat not too long ago. Uh, we, we, uh, Reddit basically adopted her when she was pregnant and she was a stray and she would come in through a hole in our fence in our backyard and then we fed her and we streamed her and then we slowly worked on the bond uh, and she let us pet her and love her. And then um, uh, we were able to lure her inside just we were, we were able to build trust over like a four, fun, four or five month period um, and, and, uh, and then got her inside uh, two days before she went into labor. And she gave birth here on Reddit. We had a seven hour stream on Friday. She got in Wednesday and Friday we had a seven hour stream here. Unfortunately, we found out that Reddit only saves 5.5 hours of any stream. So the first three babies Unfortunately, if you were here for the live event, you saw it. If not, mommy, it's okay. I love you. It's okay. But uh, the thing's still up, and you can see Snoo being born. Uh, Y'all named them, but Snoo? Snoo is special, because if y'all were here, Snoo was an hour and a half behind the uh, the first three, and um, and my girlfriend swore that and Snoo wasn't coming. And then um, uh, Snoo has white boots. Let's see, where's Snoo? Hold on. Snoo. Here you go, mama. Oh, Snoo's this one. Snoo's the one that was straight napping. Wait. No, that's not Snoo. Here's Snoo. Hey, Snoo. Mama, it's okay, mama. Don't worry. Don't worry, mama. I'm normalizing her to me holding her kittens. Uh, and if you, if you knew when she, she was attacking me recently, right? The fact that, look at that, we're good. The, the bond that we have now is unreal. I swear, it's, I never expected this. She, uh, no, we're keeping her. We're keeping Mama and we're keeping probably this one, Snoo. Y'all named her Snoo, him or her Snoo. You know, did you know Snoo is uh, the mascot of Reddit? So, uh, and you were born here and we pulled you out. We pulled you out. And, and I freaked out. Who, who was here when I freaked out? When Snoo was uh, still connected to mama through the umbilical cord and I pulled Snoo out and the uh, placenta pulled out of mama and then mama looked at me and severed it off with her teeth and then ate the placenta. Who was here for that? I was losing my shit. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I don't hand. <laughs> I. The, we, we were, we, they've been here alone for hours with mama. I give them lots of space, lots of time. Um, and then we have uh, normalizing time. It's not being selfish. Settle down, it's okay. It's all conditioning with mama for the trust and the bond with her and her kittens. It's okay, it's okay.
love you. I love you, Mama. Slow blink. Slow blink. How can we join the Discord? It's not even made yet. <laughs> Epona Mom is messaging me about it now. We're gonna, um, we'll get together a Discord or a subreddit or something. We just wanna get together something that we can. <clears throat> I wanna get together something that, um, that like I can just drop up. Here's what I want, and I don't care where it is. You all tell me what I can do. Uh, group chats on Reddit, you can't, um, can't drop pictures and videos, but I want to be like, hey guys, here's a video. We're taking pictures of the videos of them all the time, but I can't just spam Reddit with that on, on a, all these subreddits and all the page. So I want to like, um, you know, people don't get notifications on things here. So I want to get, I want to give people a place that they'll get notifications when uh, there's any updates or when we go live or anything like that. Because people keep asking for that. So, and I also am messaging just a bunch of people. So you just tell me how that would work and I'll do that. Cause we're going to be here at least like eight, eight, eight to 10 weeks. We're, we, I've decided that I've also decided that we're not, I'm not going to wait to have the vet come. I'm going to have a mobile vet come to the house as soon as possible. I called like a whole bunch of places today and left a bunch of voicemails and did one intake and they said that, but they might not call back for like uh, t two days and that's fine, whatever. But because uh, some people were saying like she breathes heavy, um, and then I, I did a bunch of research on it, and people said it's normal, um, uh, like a week after birth. But like I don't want to take the chances, so we're gonna be better safe than sorry, and just get a mobile vet over here. And that's that. Thank you for all the upvotes. Thank you for all uh, the uh, awards. Thank you for all the kind words. All that stuff. Hey, hung. Hey, hung. What's going on, bro? Exploited how? What? She was she was outside, <laughs> living 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 a wild life. Not too long ago. She's got it good. I promise. It's okay. If you haven't been here for our story, then I can understand. I can understand how people think like that. I'm just like I don't know. Whatever. But like, go back, watch some old videos, see what's up. she is she's not choosing this at all she's calm she's not scared anymore she used to be terrified of everything and everybody she did not have a safe place outside to give birth to her babies this is a blessing if you can't see that you're looking for trouble and just take it somewhere else please please don't spam my chat with that stuff look how chill mama looks Love all that natural oxytocin. Oxytocin uh, is circulating after birth while you're nursing. I like the video things. She doesn't care about the camera. I promise she doesn't. We used to do these streams in my backyard. <clears throat> in my backyard. Uh, and she would come through a hole in the fence. And then she would go out into the world and she would sleep in like an abandoned building. And she was fighting off raccoons and possums every night. And she showed up with blood all over her and her ear messed up. So I decided to take her in, all right? And we've just been going with it. So like, that's all. It's it's a beautiful thing, that's all. The haters are especially thick tonight, I don't know why. I'm not gonna be phased by it, sorry if I sound phased by it. It's, y'all are saying some crazy stuff down there. Thank you so much for live streaming these sweet babies and mama depression hitting hard for me today and my 15 year old kitty bestie passed away a couple of weeks ago so this is exactly what my heart hurting hurting heart needed oh my god i'm sorry you spiritual libre i'm sorry that you are i'm i i that's my biggest fear all the time is losing oliver or olivia or 
something happening to the fur babies or, or hey foxy lady what's going on she's not being exploited I say this as someone who rescues cats regularly from the streets and rehomes or keeps them oh, thank you okay easy bro Oliver, no, no, go downstairs. She's fine and happy. She's slow blanking him. She's in heaven. They don't shut their eyes if they're not content. Oh, and they don't show their belly. I think she won the cat lotto. Epona, I feel like I won the cat lotto. She is the most, she, the, the love she's been giving and like the, she's so affectionate with me now. She's so affectionate. I'm homeless in my car right now because my family gave up on me. Videos like this make me feel a little bit better out here. My man, can I screenshot that and just like, Sorry, sorry, my bad. I wanted to screenshot that. Not, it's, it's, not, it's not beautiful that you're homeless. It's beautiful that you can find some relief in this. I think this is the best thing I've seen in a long time. So gentle and sweet. She's blessed to have such a safe home for her babies. No, the homeless guy is good. What are you talking about? I like the homeless guy. I wish all cats that are out on the streets could be exploited like this. Thank you for saving her and the babies from that. Thank you. All these, uh, who's that? Gate, Gata, play, Gata, I'm sorry, Gata, Gata D player? Thank you. Y'all are very sweet. The last man fighting. You're good in my book. The truth is, I need to wake her up and get her to come out and just eat. But she only does it when I usually coach her out after she has feeding time, but we have to get her. I just wanted to eat some more. I mean, she ate a good bit, but I wanted to eat some more. Just for her. I just needed to get, like, nice and nutrient up. I didn't, I, I, I tried some broth with the, um, with her kibble. I want to see if that works. If she doesn't like that, I'll just swap it out and get her regular kibble. Are you going to keep the kittens? I'm going to keep, we're going to keep one of the kittens. And, um, and we're going to keep Mama. Cats are cute. Cats will die if you're if you're not follow me. What? That's kind of cruel. <clears throat> yes, the last man fighting. There are people that love you in this world. I love the words of encouragement in the chat right now for uh, l the last man fighting. I love this so much. It's so sweet. I, I hope that our chat could do stuff like that. I love all the positivity in here. This cat is stupid and ugly salsa. <laughs> what the fuck? Ugly salsa? Huh? Hold on, let me put on some more pleasant. This sounds like some d very dramatic cat music. There we go. Mama.
Francis. You're Reddit's, you're Reddit's cat now. You're not just our cat. You're like the whole world's cat now. Everybody has seen, like thousands of people have seen you go from attacking me to letting me rub your belly while your kittens, while I touch your kittens and you just close your eyes. And that's the most amazing thing ever to me. And I think, I think a lot of people love you. that look took you out the hood keep you looking good we gotta get this one back on the tab back on the tab maybe there you go plug in go back to the matrix the babies mama i love you thank you francis for helping me through hard times Yo, the last man fighting, you and me both. You and me both. Climb, Snoo, climb. Oh, thank you for the wholesome, Foxy Lady. Always appreciate it. Where are you going, Snoo? You're getting adventurous. I remember some mornings it was just me, Foxy Lady, Epona, and you guys having breakfast with Francis. Hung 69er, correct. Look at you. Now she's front page Francis. <laughs> you hear that, Mama? Mama, you went from you went from stray and homeless to front page Francis with all these beautiful kittens. Look, at, you made those. You made those. You made those, Mama. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. The snoop, snoop the poop. I don't know what the saying is. Snoop the poop. You're gonna have an amazing life, baby. Mommy, you're gonna have an amazing life. Sometimes I can't believe cats are real and we get to hang out with them. <laughs> I love that comment. <laughs> Snoop the boot. How old are they? So precious. They were born on Friday. Live here on Reddit. You're going to be the best dad. Nope. <laughs> Me and Trish are never having kids. We're just gonna have fur babies. Might start like an animal sanctuary or something. We always just wanna save all the fur babies. And we just, um, so, not to get super emotional, but uh, recently Trish's brother passed away and uh, he had a um, Chinese water dragon. Uh, so we, had, we, had, we adopted it, we took it. Uh, we knew nothing about it. We streamed it once here on, on Reddit um, in the bath, but we, um, uh, we wanted him, him to have a, a good life. His name was Hammy. Uh, so Trish, like, spent endless hours finding, uh, like, the right... And, and found some weird people, too. But, like, uh, an, an animal sanctuary that would take him, like, a reptile sanctuary, whatever, right? Lots of water and big tanks, whatever, right? But also, he's going to be... Um, they're going to take... Like, he goes to, like, schools and stuff. Like, he's part of a program that's going to go to schools and stuff. Mom, and teach people kids about reptiles and stuff so he's gonna like be a teacher so in the end it was it was a better life for him and a better purpose and then that room this room 
is what we opened up for their nursery. That's the room we're in now. It, his, um, Hammy's terrarium or whatever the thing was, was right there on that thing. And the day, the, the day before we moved her up here, um, moved him to the, to the, to the place. This is the peak of technology. I got to watch them on their first day and I get to watch them now. Yo, vegetable mix. I'm, what I'm excited about is when like, so they haven't even opened their eyes yet. When they open their eyes and they start developing like personalities and we open the door and there's like, they're jumping around and freaking out and, and like, d- 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 ah! it's gonna be so much fun. I can't, I can't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a mess when we have to like adopt them out. But fortunately, I have one adopting out across the street, directly across the street, to a, a, a neighbor and a friend of ours, and then one that I think I'm going to adopt out, hopefully, to, to somebody two doors down that, we, that is a good friend of ours. Um, and if we can keep them all on the block, then we have like little like family parties and like, like let them reunite, like you know, not separate them forever, hopefully. But um, we're going to keep one and we're going to keep Mama. Uh, we're gonna have a vet. I'm waiting on calls back for um, mobile vet. I called a lot of places today. Talked to a lot of places. A lot of places were out of range, and also they um, the thing like you can't. Oh, the stool thing. That's what I was gonna say. People recommended that we just bring her stool in uh, uh, in Philadelphia. At least it, there's a law. You cannot analyze. You can't do that kind of stuff. You can't get like lab samples and stuff or whatever if they don't have a um, like a what's it called like a check. Uh, uh, checkup or a, a if they don't look at them first what's that called anyway um so she, since she didn't have records anywhere just get bringing in poop it wouldn't be we couldn't just do that we had to, she had to have like some kind of checkup first so we're gonna have a mobile vet come but we're gonna do it sooner than the eight weeks because i want to just get um her checked out to be sure better safe than sorry Usually it takes two weeks. Uh, if you guys don't follow us, hit follow on my face. Just hit the follow or the fa- face with the the icon, whatever my fa- the my profile thing. Hit follow, and we'll give you updates. We'll let you know what the. Conchahakan? Oh yeah, Conchi. I think my brother lives in Conchi. Just wait until they become three weeks old. That's when they really start learning to walk. Soon after that, they'll be causing trouble. Can't wait. Yes, a vet would have to request a lab test. Yeah, but we can't do it without like um, a physical or no, not a, what, what did they say? Like a. Um, you know, they had to be checked out first by a, a vet before they could, like, actually... And they had to be in the records. Hi, baby. Thank you. 
she's so good now. Like when the door opens, she watches and it's like she's just. I, I opened it and Oliver was like standing right there. She wasn't even shook at all. Yeah. Like her ears don't go back that much. She doesn't leave the. She never leaves the bed anymore. She she never leaves the bed. She, oh. You put a mom. Uh, every time my daughter hears this music, she says, "You're watching Francis, aren't you?" You gotta remember. Um. When Oliver first moved in, remember how scared he was? Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. I didn't ever notice she had a black mark on her. Oh. On the bottom? Yeah. That is cute. Are they all like milk burping and stuff? Yup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Hi Trish. Epona mom says hi Trish. Hi Epona Everybody mom. say hi to Trish. Hi everybody. Hi mama. You're doing so good. Yes, slow blinks. I love you too. Oh, she's looking at you. Oh, oh she's blinking at you. Baby, she's blinking at you. You gotta wink back. There you go. Yeah. Hi Trish. Everybody sing hi Trish. Hi everybody. I needed eye bleach, thanks. Oh. <laughs> That's Snoo. Yeah. You getting into it, Snoo? She's a runner, she's a track star. Mm. Snoo is like... Snoo's ready to... Snoo is a climber. Yeah. Snoo like... <laughs> yeah, Snoo's gonna be the first one to break out. No! 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 no. no. You're, not, you're not doing it. She's no. a runner. She's a chase. <laughs> oh, Dad. Came here for the cats and was not disappointed. <laughs> Snoo is going places. I love Snoo. Snoo is number four. So this is number four. This is the one that came an hour and a half after the first three. Right? And then number five was stillborn, unfortunately. Um, but him, he, her, or I don't we know we don't know yet. Look at look at how I wish No, she let no she'll let yeah. you. She'll let you. It's okay. Like she might be care she might be a little like batty, but she totally yeah. will let you. And she, the more you do that, honestly, the better. I, I've never seen black tobians on a cat. Yeah. Oh, she'll let you touch your tobians though. Yeah. Mama, and tobians. Oh yeah. The to oh yeah. She's got them everywhere. Yeah. Look at those black tobians. Mama. This is live. Yes, the GG yoke. You can hear Oliver and Olivia wrestling upstairs. <laughs> no, this is totally pre recorded. It's not pre recorded. <laughs> Wait, Trish, say it's not pre recorded. It's not pre recorded. Uh, I'm not a bot. <laughs> I'm not a bot. I'm not a bot. <laughs> I'm not a bot. <laughs> this is not real. It's cake. It's a cake. Oh, I love you, Ornery. Did you start the cake thing? When she was giving birth, I think, or when she was up here, or I don't know, it was shortly after she gave birth, if not. Somebody came and just started this whole thing about cake and how she's not real and she's cake and it, like it ran for a while. It was pretty funny. But Francis is cake? It, it, she's not even real, she's cake. Same cake. <laughs> Boop, boot her snoot. Push that button nose, boot her snoot. All right, boot her snoot. I love to boot her snoot. Mama. 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 I love you. Hi. Is it the boot and the snoot? Boot the snoot? So. 
Wait until he cuts into it and shows us all. She's chocolate. Chocolate cake. Squints to Trish. Guys, if you just knew, like, I'm just super excited to, like, be able to kiss her or boot her snoot or whatever you say or whatever, right? Or touch her, her toe beans or her belly because this was, we never thought this would happen. Never. Never. We didn't really think she was going to even let us ever touch her. And the progress and the, the patience and the consistency that it took to let her, let, get her to let us touch her. And then also, hi, mama. Hi. Um, and all that stuff, uh, and then to get her inside, and now the way that she is, and how much she trusts us, and and all of this, um, uh, it's amazing. I feel like that just taught me so much in life. That kind of patience, it was so worth it. Oh, and I like, feel like, we should really clean her. Clean her bed. Yeah. Babies. How was practice? It was better than yesterday. Yeah? Yeah. Although, <laughs> you realize I only have like five weeks to get ready for a show. You work good under pressure. You know me. You work best under pressure. Hi, Francis and Pamela. Hey, what's up, LT Dan's bedpan? <laughs> we go downvote this. This is actually less downvotes than we normally have, so that's good. Um, we're gonna have to do- could we stream that? What? Could I stream the performance? Um... Would that not be allowed? I bet Nick would be okay with that. That'd be dope. Yeah. Trish is a, uh, aerialist and a handstand master in training. Um, and uh, she does awesome stuff and she's gonna have performance soon, so we might stream that. She's a runner, she's a track star. food up here it's all it, it i'm really good with pattern behavior we've been conditioning her with the same things it's like she's good oh she does like that i put broth with it oh i mixed broth i researched it first to see if it's good for her mm -hmm. right now but oliver likes the broth too yeah so I think it's a, I think we it's um we mixed broth um is it chicken or beef what is it it's um it's bone broth. I think it's, I think it's a combination of chicken and beef bone broth. Mm. Um, but Looks like her name spelling got changed. How yes. come? Everyone. <laughs> it was my mom that first mentioned that uh, it, ES is uh, the female version of Francis, and I was going to be resolute and say, no, you know, we can be gender neutral here or whatever, but. <laughs> But the majority has spoken. Well played. Give her some tuna right now. We have tuna flavored wet food. This is, this is, I tried chicken tonight to see if she likes it. We did tuna earlier. We did salmon earlier. She likes salmon. Salmon's her favorite. Trish, could you do a mean, Trish could do a mean cosplay of Angela from The Office. How many times do we time. get that? All yeah. the time. Mama did a good job and it, it looks like her midwife is enjoying a well-deserved drink. She has plenty of food and water. Pretty sure she eats better than I do. Does she like tuna fish? She likes salmon, yeah. Thank you, my cat has been watching this enthralled for the last 20 minutes. 
My arm is falling asleep, though. Will you confirm for these folks your cat gets fed and has water? My gosh, what? Are really, guys? Is that? Do we have to really talk? Really? My God, this this cat is. They're more. spoiled. I okay. promise. You gotta make some biscuits. Trish, Trish, your arms. I want tickets to the gun show. <laughs> it's all part of being an aerialist. Since you want to be gender neutral, you can't say mom. You have to say birthing animal. <laughs> you know <sighs> what, guys? You're right. I And I'm calling her like baby mama. So like, I'm not... A little I'm, baby producer of yeah, other living I'm, things. I'm a total hypocrite. You're right. Total. <laughs> totally. <laughs> How did you get into being an aerialist? Uh, a friend. Haha, <laughs> does she have license for those guns? <laughs> How'd you get an aerialist? Oh, um, a friend talked about it, or, or she knew someone that was doing it, and it sounded like the coolest thing ever. And uh, life kind of, it's not really an interesting story, but my reasons for doing it, I feel like are a little bit more interesting, which was, which is, I'm the type of person that like rides on natural ability. And then when things get hard, I'm like, I'm not cut out for that. But aerials were hard right away. I had zero natural ability for it. So it's like you either do it or you don't. And I did it and I stuck and I'm now 12 years into it. And I'm, I'm so glad I did, you know, it, it, um, it really changed my thinking on like how, how you become good at things. You have to put the work in. I feel like it, I feel like it made me a better person in many respects. Um, she's quite amazing as well. So do things that are hard folks. It, it'll pay off. Trish on rope. It's her stuff. If you want to check her out? She's really good. She does uh, like rope stuff, handstand. Her handstand game is on though. I want to. I'm gonna give her. You know what? Why don't you take over the other one? Okay. And do handstands on there. Since okay. we're mixing things up and bringing a bunch of people in that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It would yeah. work into the mix well. Yeah. Now that like it would just be a, a, a yeah. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. Just for you, Mama. Oh, sometimes she wants time away from the kittens. So she goes back there or back there? I mean, just like any natural mom. She just needs a break from the kittens. Yeah. It's a thing. Frances is, is a beauty, isn't she? Thank you for the gold, hung. Oh, that's what on rope means. Yes. OP and Trish, are you dating? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. At this point, I hope so. Yeah. That's I, really cool. I wore them down. <laughs> We've been together for going on two years. We live together. We have fur babies together. We're, we're, we're in it. We're in it to win it. Right, Mama? I know we have multiple. We have more yeah. more. Well, that's really cool, Trish. Do you you do shows? Awesome talent and skill. She'll do. She'll I'll, she'll share some stuff that she's gonna do. It's impressive. It confirms the Gladwell ten cower ten cower ten k hours theory. That's impressive. It also confirms the Gladwell uh, ten thousand yeah. hour theory. I yeah. believe that. I totally believe that theory. Um, and I'm more of a weekend warrior type, so <laughs> I don't think I've hit my ten thousand hours yet. Hey, cool, bluey, 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 blurry. <laughs> Just tuning in for the nightly check-in with Francis and the kitties. Good story, Trish. Thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. Mama needs a break. Sometimes she needs a break from the kittens, you know? What is the cat's political party? <laughs> Sometimes she wants a break from the kittens. Have you ever been a parent, right? Can you... Mama. She was out here earlier with that. This is catnip. Catnip ball. 
I'm, I'm trying to use this too because it smells like Oliver and it's Oliver's to normalize her. Oh. Hmm. No? Well, um, Frances uh, does not subscribe to a political party, but she's completely disappointed in Biden, so. <laughs> Trish, are you more an Andy or a Dwight kind of girl? Oh, these are office questions. Have oh, you even watched? Um, uh, she not might not enough to... I know who Dwight is. I don't know who Andy is. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Good idea. Exchanging smells with Olivia. With, yeah, with Oliver. She's comfortable with you being around her kittens. So cute. Uh, she's great. No, we're, we're good. Hi, y'all. Watch. She'll come right back, too. It's okay, Mama. Andy, Andy. I know, Mama. Oh, that, that yawn, though. Oh, my God. Andy was the worst. I need to watch The Office. Go ahead, Mama. <laughs> yes? Woo. They really grow. They've been they need they've been steady like snacking. Snacking with Snoo is like my favorite show. Snoo, you hungry? Bro, like I mean I've just been I've also been like getting them hooked up on the tap as much as possible. Mama, let's go. Come on. Up on the tap. There you go. Let's get them all go. <laughs> Come on. Everybody's going to the bar. Let's go. Pile it. Who's hungies? I know. Oh, and then you're tired. <laughs> well, nothing like a nice milk coma to put you to sleep. A little milk coma. I wonder if she knows on some level that she's being watched by a hell of people. Hot take. I didn't like The Office at all. Couldn't even get past a few episodes. I want to watch it. I want to do it. Uh... I felt that way about Seinfeld. <laughs> I kind of like Seinfeld. Uh, uh, Donda. Donda's over here. Donda. Donda. Oh, oh my God. He's sniffing mm -hmm. around at you. It's so interesting how the ears are like literally still folded. Seinfeld is brilliant. You people are fired. <laughs> um, I couldn't stay for the whole birth. Only three. Well, you're lucky because, hold on, who said that? Sprinkle suitable. You're you're one of the lucky people because, um, unfortunately, we found out the hard way that. Um, Reddit Live only saves 5.5 .5 hours of any broadcast. So the first three, only the only people that saw that were people that were here live. And then the broadcast, that broadcast saved on, on my profile, picks up right before Snoo, number four, and number five were born. So um, that was like a, uh, it was like a special thing for everybody that was actually here for that. Is the gray one the run? No, number four is the Snoo, Snoo, where's Snoo at? Not Snoo. That might be Pona. I'm trying to figure out the one. I know what. I know what. I know what three. I know what two of them are. Wait, two or three? I know what two of them are. There's two that are very much alike that I that are not. Snoo, there's that white face. There you are, buddy. Oh my goodness. This is Snoo. This is Snoo. Oh my goodness. Hey, bub. Hey, little bub. I love your little boots. Smell my hand. The little 
boots. Look at these little boots. <laughs> Look at these little boots. They're gonna be Uggs or like warmers. <laughs> Someone please tell Frances and her babies that I love them. Charlotte. Charlotte B. Holla. Frances. Charlotte loves you and you. Foamy, what's up? Steady snacking with Snoo. Foamy, homie, what's up, my man? Oh, Snoo has the slightest bit of a white tip on, on its tail. Oh my goodness, Snoo does have a tiny white tip. Oh, it's gonna get even more pronounced. Okay, hey, she mama. wants Snoo back. No, actually, she's just cleaning. Okay, but she does that little. No, she does that little test, and then okay. the pony needs to be a girl. We need to see what their sexes are, though. Yeah, I don't think you can tell until two weeks. Really? Yeah, from the cat chart. <laughs> Not to be dramatic or anything, but I would die for these kittens. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, enough. She's totally like, enough. <laughs> that was... That was the best. <laughs> the kittens nurse they nurse all day we do breakfast and dinner streams guys for anybody that thinks i'm just like shoving this in their face they're in here alone all day with mama if anything they need more attention and more conditioning um uh than we're actually giving them but like trust me this is very good for them and don't worry this is all love <laughs> they're all good so let's see if we can tell the difference between the other two um trying to figure out which one the Pona is yeah. so we don't like all right so we have to figure out we know which one donda is the gray one donda donda's the gray one um snoo is the one is where are you at what is your are you okay are you no it's, don't worry don't worry donda yeah. oh mama needs petting Her back a little bit right now. Let's pull back away from her oh, just a little. Gotcha. Let's give her some. Okay. There she is. Sorry, honey. There I you just... go. She's all right. She just she didn't like like she doesn't like people hovering over her. Yeah. Like being back here is fine, but like it's fine. I'm She's... just kidding. I just. It's easy to get hypnotized by the babies. <laughs> no, no, no. I do the same thing. We have to figure out which one is a pona. Thank you so much for taking care of Mama and the kittens. Gives me hope in the world. She gives me hope in the world. <clears throat> she has lots of alone time. She's usually alone with these kittens. Why is Mama breathing so hard though? We are having uh, a mobile bet that's gonna come out and check that out. Yeah. Waiting to hear back something. Although, let me know if I'm wrong, but I feel like when she's not in the um, bed, she's breathing a little bit slower. Yeah, and when she's just flat out asleep, I've watched her, 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 um. Okay. Still, is that letting us know? I think we'll put us all at ease. Yeah, I'd rather just have a bet come out and just look at her anyway, so. Yeah. 
By the way, it wasn't you. I, she does the same thing to me. Like if I hover over her, her ears will go back just because she doesn't like being cornered. She's not. I, I hear you. I was. The background music is giving me hope in the world. Foamy, homie, foamy. You got it, foamy. You should. If y'all don't know my friend Foamy, Foamy's the dudes. Okay. You guys are great owners. Maybe she's tired. She was sleeping all day before I came up with her dinner. We are in Philadelphia. Yeah, no, I promise. Like, um, the, uh, the conditioning we do is in, um, oh, hi. It's improper increments and all that good stuff. Which one is this? Hi. It's okay, mama. It's okay, mama. I was seeing if this one had the... Stripe on the tail. So we're gonna keep her, and we're gonna keep one of the kittens, probably number four, uh, Snoo. And then we're gonna adopt out the other three, uh, and we have somebody across the street that wants one already across the street from our house our friend and then somebody two doors down um possibly uh and we're trying to keep them on the block we're trying to keep them all on the block Yeah, we'll be getting her speed. We're gonna be getting everybody vaccinated, everybody's fixed up and all that good stuff. exploring or sleeping in the bed she mostly sleeps in the bed with her kittens and then she goes around um like she'll, she'll she'll wander around here and stuff uh she has an exp she comes out here sometimes uh i saw her laying out here earlier favorite mixed drink for you and trish I'm a Jack and Coke kind of guy. Um, oh, I got a couple. I, Jack and Coke is like a default for me. Um, but, uh, a, um, much fondness for, a, a gin and grapefruit or tequila and grapefruit. Oh, I like tequila. Tequila, ooh, tequila, tequila sunrise, actually, I really like. Mm. I haven't had one of those in years. There's a there's a drink called a salty dog, and it's uh, gin and grapefruit with a salted rim, which I normally don't like, which is strange because I love salt. 
but I don't have salted rims on my drink, except for this one. Uh, and a little bit of bitters, and it's like, it's like such a yummy summery drink for me. Yum yums. <laughs> but like I just drink gin to try to be sophisticated. <laughs> Yes, awesome taste, Trish. Oh, no, she has great trait, taste. Aww. I, I, you know what? I just like what I like. No shame on what anybody likes. You know what I mean? Like, if you're doing the Franzia White Zinfandel and you love it, go for it. Like, you know what I mean? The kittens love milk with salted rim. Salty dogs are so good. Talk about digging them. What other pets do we have? We have a, um, a tabby cat named Oliver. He's three. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. He's our world. And then uh, Olivia is our uh, dog. She is a, uh, a pot hound. <coughs> oh, I need to order that test. Yeah, we need to order that test. Your pony mom says she loves martinis, too. I do love martinis. I used to be a dry martini person, but then one of my favorite restaurants made me a very wet martini with the pickled onions, (laughs) and I have yet to go back. (laughs) Mom. Oh, hounds are wonderful dogs. Olivia is a all of our fur babies, we have, we got, I, I swear, they're all angels. I, I, they're just amazing. And, and our, our connection with all of them is really special. So, uh, this, this is amazing. This is really cool. Oliver and Olivia. Yeah. Oh, they also fixed that issue. The gifting issue? Uh-huh. Good. Yeah. Because I'm on my phone. Good. Never had a problem. Would you like to have a drink? And... Yeah. Did you have dinner? Uh, I had enough of... I had a salad before breakfast. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go take a shower and then hang out. Alright, let's do that. Does that sound good? Cheers. Cheers. I love, I love you. you. <laughs> Jinx. You look great. Mm. I like Cadillac margaritas. I've never heard of that. What's a Cadillac margarita? Let me Google it. Oh my god, this is Snoo. Right under that. Wait, I love Snoo. Alright, I'm sorry, but Snoo is really growing on me. A little Snoo over here. Look at that fe- full belly. Wait, was it, it was Cadillac Margarita or Martini? Cadillac Margaritas. Perhaps they mean mar- Martins? Uh, here we go. Cadillac Margarita. Mm. Where are you going, Bob? Oh, well, it's... Okay. It's pretty straightforward. But the Grand uh, Marnier probably makes it. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. And the Crown come true. I never know how to pronounce these. <laughs> okay. Um, there you go. Sorry, you were wedged. Two notable drinks. I have to... Like a, like a, a, a like 
weird icky drink. It's like a refreshing. He said it was like refreshing and like. Yeah. I have to. Uh, I'll look it up. I'm butchering it to death, and I apologize. Margarita with Grand Marnier. Yes. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I know nothing right now. I'm gonna excuse myself. <laughs> <laughs> to you, boo boo. Okay. I know nothing about drinks anyway. I don't even know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> Sangria? Oh. Alright. Hi. I'm just conditioning with the, with the kittens. It's okay, mommy's just going. You six have fun. <laughs> Eight, wait, the poor girl has been alone all day in here. We did breakfast, and then um, her and her kittens have been alone in here all day. So we are just uh, conditioning and having a good time and showing her some love. I promise you, she's well cared for. Snoo just did a Michael Jackson pose. With a bunch of ice and a strong red, I could see that. Yes, mama. There you go. Seven up and red wine sounds sweet and bubbly. Like a summer drink on a hot day. Mama, you got this one down here. There you go. <clears throat> so I promise you, like I space out a lot of the time that we are in here with her and touching her, her kittens or anything like that. There's a lot of time, she's, she's with them, nursing, alone time, this whole room is hers. We keep a very calm and chill. And then we come in at least two times a day, mor morning and night for breakfast and dinner, right? And we like, we, we, we condition her with more with like trust and um, <clears throat> bond uh, practice where I, you know, I, 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 I practice petting her in different places um, and normalizing her to that. This took a lot of work. Belly rub, that took so much work. She, this was so much work. And, um, and kissing her and handling her babies and all that stuff and also getting her babies normalized to us and our smell and our sound and our touch and all that stuff and her to us touching her babies. That's all very important. Snoo boots. <laughs> was a stray that started coming in our backyard through a hole in the fence about four or five months ago uh, for food and we started feeding her and then we gradually gained her trust and um, being able to touch her and pet her and then she got pregnant and she had been pregnant before but then she like disappeared for a few weeks and then came back around she wasn't pregnant and then she was pregnant again and we don't know what happened with that but um, she had fought um, possums and raccoons too much uh, and got into scuffles and, and stuff and showed up bloody on our doorstep, uh, on our back step. So uh, we decided to bring her in last Wednesday. Just like spur of the moment was just like, I'm bringing her in, I'm bringing her in, we're doing it. And uh, lured her in with uh, salmon and then um, 
let her freak out. She ran down to the studio. She stayed down there. And then Friday, she uh, went into labor and gave birth here on Reddit. A cat letting you rub their belly is the ultimate sign of trust. Right, Mama? Right, Mama? You're home now. You're gonna have a good life, I promise. You and your babies. You're such a good mom. You're such a good mom. Smooth the boop. watching the door because she hears something moving around outside. Oh, it's our dog. It's okay, Mama. You sleep on her head. You know, watch out. There you go. No, oh, thank you for being a part of it. You know, it's really cool that everybody's Everybody came together for this. This was like a group effort. It takes a village. So, you know, we'll be here for the next eight to ten weeks. I don't know how long it takes. They said, I mean, I'm, I'm happy with keeping the kittens as long as possible, to be honest. I'm good with that. Become curious kittens. I'm looking forward to it. I'm good with it. Mama is, is we we have to. Here's the goal. We're gonna normalize. Oh, this is what I wanted to ask. I'm so sorry. I should have asked this earlier. Um, all right. So so we have an unfixed male cat. He's three years old. He's amazing. He does not like she. He's seen her through the door and everything, and like not no problem. I don't think this is actually an issue, but we need to get everybody fixed. Do we need to get him fixed or could we just get her fixed and the kitten fixed hypothetically, right? In theory, couldn't we keep her, thank you, old leather, thank you for the helpful. Um, couldn't we just keep her fixed and the baby fixed and Oliver unfixed? Would that be an issue or would he still do, th I mean, he really, really, really does not pee on things. He doesn't freak out, he's not like that. He's lived with other cats. I don't know what the best move to do about that because I really don't want to have him put under while he has that done if I don't have to. You know what I mean? <clears throat> he doesn't spray, though. They're going to be so much fun. Wait till they start having, like, personalities and they start, like... Oh, wait till they... Oh, I can't wait. This might be Epona... I'm not sure. Oh, wait, no, this is the gray one. That's Donda. I'm sorry. I, uh, the lighting was throwing me off. Uh, that's Snoo. So this one or this one is Epona? This one or this one? You could, but he could become territorial. She can go into heat when nursing. They will both go crazy. Get him fixed as soon as possible. It's easier to get a male fixed. He might be aggressive. It might change with a female in the house. I don't know. But is it dangerous at all to get him fixed at three years old? 
Is it dangerous? Because they have to put them under and stuff. And like, I just don't... I don't know if Reddit is the place to ask. I'm just looking for opinions. And if anybody knows, if anybody's had a situation like that. Or if you even can do something like that. But Mick lost. Duh, I do appreciate that. No, not dangerous. Also, the procedure for fixing males is much simpler, quicker, and less invasive. But are they going to take away his cute fuzzy balls? We love his cute fuzzy balls. He's got... Oliver's got adorable fuzzy balls. And I just, like... I say get them both fixed. That's what I usually do with all this. Get a professional opinion from mobile vet when... Hey, good idea. I am going to check with the mobile vet what would be best. What's up, CJ? But you can do pre-op blood work to make sure his liver and etc. is working. Oh, that's a good idea. Ball worship rears its head again. <laughs> What's up, loose grape? Loose grape. I don't know if I told you this, but I got that cash. You're so sweet. Thank you. We never expected to have three cats. Never. That was not a plan. But now we're going to have Mama. And we're going to have one of the kittens. And Oliver. And Olivia. Turn the music. That's how I feel about my rat's balls. But they're all boys, so they don't need to be fixed. <laughs> cats find you. That's how it works. All of my cats have just been that way. Just show up one day and become part of our f of the family. Styrofoam shell. Do you know foamy homie styrofoam shell? He's a homie. Uh, I'm wondering if Oliver and Olivia sound too familiar. No. You had me at rat balls. Oh, I can see I came in at the spay and neuter discussion. I dozed off, so I missed the first hour. It's all good. Mm Guys, let me leave the stream here. We'll set her up real nice. This way she can sleep. Let me check what the battery is, hold up. We're good. Oh, my knees. Mama, it's okay. I'm just gonna go downstairs so I don't bother you. And you can sleep. Or whatever you're gonna do with your kittens. Mama, oh my goodness, I love you. See, her instinct was to bat me away. Do you see that? 
And then she went, okay, I accept you. Can I have licks? Can I have kisses? It's the first time. <gasps> Please? Oh my god, it's what? Oh my god! <gasps> Was that the first kiss? Oh my god, I love you. time that's why I condition like this because I'm looking for moments like that I'm just mama oh my god I love you I promise you're safe I promise look at those yawns look at all those yawns I'm so fucking proud of you I love you Wandering, don't go off. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. I'll be in the chat. I'll be in the chat monitoring, but I'm. A, I'll be downstairs, so I won't be verbally here. All right.
my phone back in. Sorry, I was dying. Mama, I'm sorry. Do you, boo-boo? Are you making some biscuits? Are you making some biscuits, pretty girl? such a good mama. Pumpkin, what's going on? such a good mama. We're so proud of you. 
And now you're such a little love bug. Look at this. You were just looking for love. You just wanted love. You just wanted love. Right? Yes, Mama. That's a good girl. Yes. I'm gonna put you dinner out here, okay? It's a lot easier for you to eat. You have to climb all the way up there, okay? I got you. She gave oh yeah, she gave me kisses for the first time. She gave me she licked me. It was I we it, I I didn't know that was gonna happen. me for the first time we had our first kiss right mama i'm so proud of you look at those black little tobians which no you're mama you're crushing your <laughs> mama you're crushing your kitten mama here you go i got you i got you boo thing i got you <laughs> yeah, she lays on her baby sometimes. It's all good. She figures it out. Mom.
you have a good poopies? I'm just gonna shit on your poopies, okay? Look at these poopies! Mama! Mama, you did, look at this. These are such good poopies. Yeah, look at those. Uh-huh. Well, that's a good poopies. Mama. That's a good poopies. Uh-huh. Go. Oh, hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi. Mama, let's go back to your babies, okay? Here, I'm gonna make one squeak a little bit and then you'll come back, okay? Ready? She's such a good mama, watch this. Watch this. Come on, mama, come on. Good mama. Lay down. There you go. Come on. Good mama. Lay down. All right, guys. <clears throat> I think we're going to call it a night. Cool. Let's end the stream. Let's uh, dim the lights and get Francis and her babies ready for bed. I love you. I love you so much. You're so pretty. Good night, Snoo. Good night, Snoo. There you go, Mama. Good night. One kitty is missing. No, we got four, don't worry. There you go. We got poopies in the bed. We're gonna clean this up tomorrow, too. Good night, Donda. Donda, wait till you open your eyes. Here we so. Mama. There you go.
before I go. This is just too cute to end. She's cleaning the poop. This is what they do. This is what I just learned this the other night that she stimulates their poop and then eats it. The fact that they know how to do this, this is wild. Humans do that too, I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna know that. All right, can't leave you up. This is too cute. This is too wholesome. Sorry. Mama. Do it. Do this. You're just doing great. You're being such a natural. I'm so proud of you. You're such a mama. Animal instinct is amazing. The fact that you just know how to do all this, mama. I'm so impressed with you. I'm so proud of you. You're such a good mama. You should be proud. Mo boop your snoop. Snoop the boop. Snoop the boop. Snoot your boot. Boop 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 a doop. <laughs> On this episode of why I like animals more than I like humans. She was a stray not too long ago. Mama. We got two little faces here. I didn't even see that other little face. Mama. You're not the only person who loves animals more than they the humans. I find that a lot of people like that in my life. For good reason. I like her stripe down her nose. Olivia, don't worry. It's just Olivia. Don't worry. It's okay, sweetheart. Shh. Hey, focus on me. Hey, 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 hey. Focus on me. It's okay. It's okay.
all y'all are so sweet. Bama said, I'm sure I'm making it up, but it always seems like the same kitten is snuggling in her face. No, that's true. Get some extra super duper awesome treats and give her one every time Oliver scratches and cries. No, Mom, it totally is. <laughs> I think that might be Epona. I don't know. There's there's two that are very similar, and we can't figure out who's Epona and who's Foxy. We know who Donda is, and we know who Snoo is. And the other two, we're trying to figure out. So as personalities and um, all that evolve, we'll figure that out. You looking for the tap there? Mama, look, you made that. Mama. Mama, you made that. You see that? You made that. You made that beautiful little kitten. I'm so proud of you. I'm so All right, guys, I'll never leave if I don't, <laughs> if I don't end this now, I'll just never leave because this, this is too cute. I just, I just want to keep like petting them and touching them and loving them. And I, 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 we should let them rest. All right. <clears throat> we'll see you for breakfast. If you do not follow us already, hit follow and we will see you bright and early for breakfast around 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, New York time. Thank you for the wholesome. Thank you again for joining us in this journey. It's been a wild ride. Really appreciate y'all, seriously. Mama, look at that. She lets me just cover her face like that, guys. That's a different cat. That is a different cat. That is a different cat. That's amazing.